Hey everybody, my name is Kat and welcome back for another video of Humankind. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we went ahead and started the construction of the Statue of Liberty. Another great wonder for us boys. Uh, we're going to see how far it uh, takes us. It's another three turns before finishing it. We uh, have all, city work, all of our cities working on it. Uh, we're also going to try today and um, really expand even further. We already know I've got myself two outposts, I believe, for Rome. Yes, I do have two outposts. So I think we're fine. So Rome is maxed out in outposts. So uh, we're going good on that part. So we're just going to be looking for another city. Get another, another city somewhere over there. Also, Milano. Does Milano have two outposts? It only has one. So Milano needs a second one. We are obviously preparing for war against the Morions as well. We have a fleet set up right here. And my armies are marching in as we speak. So we're getting ready for a war, boys, in this video. Uh, so we're just going to jump on in right away. Right here, we're not going to waste any time. I still got plenty of money, so I don't need to use a money mod or influence mod or anything right now. Probably going to need to do it in this turn, though. The current turn to uh, turn 85. So let's see, we, could, we just got another uh, era star. Not too sure from what population, probably a population star or something, boys. All right, here we go. So the, the, the game I hadn't fully loaded yet. I guess the turn had, hadn't fully loaded. So now it's loaded. We're actually in turn 85. We got the uh, extra population star. We just need more, one more territory or just money overall, which money won't be a problem to get, but take uh, probably more time to get than a population, a territory itself. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, and also we've got Rome, we're working on everything. Two more turns for Rome to, uh, to have its Statue of Liberty. Let me just figure it out before we start going to war or anything. Uh, do we have anything we need to build? Nothing at all. All right, so we're doing good. And it seems like the stability is fine as well. So stability is fine. Got to check on everybody in terms of stability. So make sure that they're doing okay. 99 over here. All right. All good. All good. And uh, what about uh, Nepada right here? Nepada is doing fine. So it seems like everybody's doing fine. Yeah, I, I feel like everybody's doing fine from, uh, from the looks of it. If I take a look at Kerma again and everything, yes, Kerma is doing okay. And Milano as well. Yes, everybody's doing okay. All right, good. That's good news, boys. That me that just means that um, this uh, fleet, first off, this fleet, I need to repair it and I need to upgrade it as well. So they really need to go in uh, on sea, in the sea, and they need to march on into our own lands right here. They need to do it quick. Uh, they're probably going to lose some health uh, because of the industry. I'm not too sure how that's going to work out. But uh, I'm sure we're going to be fine. So next stop, since we do want our era star, I'm not too sure how many uh, more eras we need to have in order to for the game to end. Like um, how many more eras do we have? Uh, I'm not too sure. We got our musket men. So with this guy, I'm not too sure where we're going to go with uh, our actual seventh uh, city we are probably gonna go ahead and okay so they're telling me to go right there they're telling me to settle all the way over there okay so in that case i'll just go ahead and move my units here so it's not gonna happen in this turn that's for sure are we uh are we going about to uh, enter war against these guys i'm not too sure i do have my uh, my girl right here so let me see sure why not let's declare war boys let's rage a little bit of war have a little bit of fun. Have our first war over here. So let's do it. Declare war. And it's official. We are now at in our first war. And it's against the Morians. Uh, we're going to assault it. With uh, maintain. So continue siege. No, I'm going to assault it. I'm going to uh, assault it big time. And we're going to do a manual battle, of course. And uh, I also have some musketments. All my reinforcements that are behind as well. So... Uh, it's we're well over on the way boys. We're, we're gonna be able to destroy these guys easily I'm actually gonna put my two soldiers over here My two cavalry are gonna be in the back and I've got my two musket men's over here One of my musket men's needs to be here All right, and that should be good. Whoops That should be good enough. Let's end the deployment boys and start the assault uh, First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move up 
I think I need to be close range. All right, let me just uh, handle them. I'm just going to move in here. Take the territory for myself. And actually uh, attack them. So start assaulting them with... Uh, there we go. Start assaulting them with my uh, warrior units. There we go, boys. We got this. It doesn't matter, though, because we have overpowered units. So let's just go straight in. Oh, this one worked. Okay, so I, I'm not too sure, boys. Maybe it's just... I have overpowered units anyway, so... Not too sure how this works. Let me uh, shoot these guys. Boom! This is what uh, shooting a other does versus unit uh, or a faction that doesn't have any guns, boys. We're actually obliterating them right now. Let's go. Can I actually attack them with these? Oh, I can't move any further. Okay, well, if, uh, with this unit, I'll move on the side right here. I'm going to tell my cavalry to actually assault uh, them. So let's uh, let's go around. Oh, we got to go around, huh? Okay, looks like we gotta go around in order to defeat them. They're defending, so uh, I'm not too sure how to, or we're gonna be able to uh, go across right here. I can't go on these tiles. Yeah, I can't go on these tiles. So I'm gonna let my cavalry go all the way, my knights go all the way on the side right here. And uh, there we go. So that's my deployment. Can't do anything else. We're gonna let them attack us. Let them kill themselves, I guess. There we go. And my uh, my front unit that's being attacked is just going to get more XP in the long term. So that's better off for them. And uh, that was it. Okay. Well, let me uh, let me just shoot them then. Boom. Finish it off by shooting them. There it is. Boom. Just like that. They got shotgun in their faces. And we, we did it. That's the war, boys. So that's the battle. Our first battle is a success. We took over Mosh. So Mosh is ours now. Uh, trade route destroyed. Trade route destroyed. Or everything. Okay, so good. So Mosh is destroyed. We do have a new Civic available. Okay, perfect. We're going to look at that in, in a second. So for Mosh, what do we do with this? Construction queue is blocked. So Mosh is ours now. It is ours, but I'm not too sure if we're going to keep it or destroy it. I might just end up destroying this entire thing. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to keep Mosh, boys. I think I'm going to just destroy the cities altogether uh, for, for them, the civilization. I'm just going to destroy them. Uh, destroy, get on the path of destruction and everything. I don't, I'm not too sure if you can actually start shooting or whatnot. Or are you just a land, because uh, I don't know if they can uh, shoot. Uh, let me send them over here. There we go. Can they, do they have range? Well, target is not visible, so okay, the no, target is too far away. Yeah, the target is too far away, so we cannot actually shoot them. Well, we are we are just going to naval blockade them. We're going to naval blockade them, and that's going to be fine as it is. This guy, I'm still sending him back. So uh, we are still sending him uh, back towards um, the uh, these territories, these lands, so we can actually assault uh, them with our, this unit. Okay. That's pretty much that for this turn. Also, okay, so what uh, What now? We need to take a look at uh, with the Morians. They want to talk to us. So they can, uh, we do still uh, want uh, Neb uh, Denebola and Mosh. So we got both of them. Both of them belong to me. So uh, I'm just going to have to offer them, right? These are war resolutions. So that, these are my demands. All right, these are my demands right here. So basically, I got to get these two territories. I do have a lot of war support. They don't have too much war support. So it's on them right now. They got to accept eventually. They don't accept. They're just going to end up losing everything. All right, let me see really quick. Uh, we do have civics. Uh, a, a brand new civic we can use. Foreign customs, boys. Let's see what it's all about. So following orders, custom is no threat to our judgmental uh, identity. We should uh, not unnecessarily dilute our culture with uh, others' strange rights. Okay. So we can either uh, do cultural respect or cultural eradica eradication. Prevents the spread of other empires' sphere of influence through controlled territory. Oh, really? Or plus 100 fame earned by... Um, I estimated uh, Aerostar. star. Well, I would be tempted to do that. Uh, that sounds like a, a really good, a really fun one to not be influenced whatsoever. But I feel like I'm coming towards the end of game, anyways. 
Might as well get the most fame possible. Let's do cultural respect, boys. Every culture has its lessons, its traditions, its values. It would be cruel to see them perish. Exactly. You don't want to. You don't want to uh, get rid of the, uh, someone's culture. It's part. It's a part of them. You don't want to get rid of them. You want to assimilate them. Uh, not. You know. You don't want to completely eradicate it. Just assimilate it over time. It's fine. All right. So we're into turn eighty-six now, uh, and we're still in a big-time uh, uh, war. Uh, osmosis event, so your civilization benefits from its proximity to others. Okay, interesting. Uh, we also have that right now going on. So Mosh is under control. It's a it's it's a city that's literally under control right now, so we can't do anything about it. Uh, can we actually destroy it? I don't think we can destroy it, boys. So uh, exchange between the people of this city and its neighbors led to a minor technology breakthrough. Oh, I can do that. Instant boost. I can do some instant boost or something, boys. Oh, that's interesting. Hold on. I do have a cultural blitz, which I'm going to do. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to do it right here. I'm not too sure if I can, boys. I think I'm good anyways, so uh, as it is. All right, so we're going to march on uh, with my my uh, special unit, Sabotar. It calls me and on enemy lands, huh? So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, march on to this city right here with my Sabotar. There we go. She's going to march on right here. And can she cause mayhem right away? Or I guess not. She's just a regiment. I guess she's a, like some sort of uh, melee unit. And with this guy, we're going to start marching on. Big time towards Noxos, boys. And also maybe destroy the outpost that's here, here and there. You know, do some bit of uh, even more damage. So let's uh, explore the technology. Let's do a, a breakthrough. Why not? Cyan so that's what happened. So uh, let's do that. Okay. Boom. There we go. So my major boost. We do have two more turns before uh, the science is complete or research. That's fine. Uh, one more turn before getting the Statue of Liberty. So we're getting the Statue of Liberty in the next turn. Uh, we're still focusing. I, I want to send my units over as quick as possible. So let's let's send you over, buddy, right now. March on. It's going to take a while for him to... Uh, to arrive are we gonna get the money mod before the territory i'm not too sure i don't think so i think we might get the territory in this turn boys and when i upgrade them it seems like all of their entire health comes back up so that's fantastic so we got a brand new fleet it's upgraded to the max now and with these guys i can't do anything because i can't see them i gotta uncover them so i'm gonna let my fleet be there for now yeah, there's nowhere uh, there's nowhere that i, I need to uh, spend my cultural blitz or anything so doesn't matter too much to me. Over here, we are actually going to create our uh, seventh uh, city. So let's do that. Let's create it right here, boys. This is an outpost now. We're going to evolve it right away. Before we do that, we're going to uh, spend some money, obviously, to uh, get some arbors. There we go. Get an arbor right here. And we can create some force. I'm not going to do that. We're just going to evolve it into a city. So there it is. Boom. Torino, boys. So basically, uh, Turin. So uh, Turin is now a thing. Uh, we got our next era star from that, which is fantastic, which means we're about to enter the next era, which I'm not sure which one it is, but uh, we're entering a brand new era, boys. Also, we've got uh, lots of, uh, we need to build some amulets and, and whatnot. So let me build the amulet really quick. Boom. Enter a new era. Yeah, before, remind me. Okay, so let's enter the era. Let's do it right now, before uh, before uh, just so they stopped uh, they, they stop uh, bothering me a little bit. So a brand new contemporary era. Okay, let's see what it's all about. So can we can either stay as the Italians like always? Uh, we could be the uh, Australians now. That would give us industry. Don't really care about that. Brazilians, some more food. Chinese. It's a lot of money. And uh, a lot of uh, minus 10 influence, though, for the Congress. So I'm not too sure if I like that or not. Egyptians. Uh, free officers. Not really. We got the Indians. Uh, more influence and stuff. Japanese. The Japanese have uh, of planes, boys. So we could have planes available. And we've got industry and everything. But I'm not sure if that's really what I want to go over. I want to go for something that's uh, all about money. 
stealth corvettes so i guess a bunch of ships stealthy operative missiles Ooh, that sounds like a really fun one americans americans uh money and all defense agency as well hold on they do have the lightning with uh, uh, uh some sort of jet as well the soviets the soviets have red army tanks don't really want well the soviets seems like a really fun one though minus 10 stability though for uh, arms factory i could stay as the italians i could uh do that I don't really see anybody that's really that strong, but I kind of want to switch it up every time, boy. So, you know what? Uh, will Americans do sound fun to me? They do sound fun to me, uh, and they do have the lightning, which is uh, like some sort of jet plane. Now we would need a lot of resources for that, though. Lots of resources. Unlike if we take the Japanese, they do have ships. Uh, uh, they do have planes as well. Doesn't take as many resources. And the Indians have peacekeepers, so it's basically UN uh, people. It's an upgrade. It would be an upgrade, I guess. It's a, it's like the gunners and whatnot. Uh, I, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do the Indians because they seem like they don't give you. They're the ones that don't give you minus stability for what when you build something. You know, they, you don't get minus stability. I'm going to get the Indians. I'm going to be the Indians. They um they give you uh they give you stuff instead of uh, uh getting rid of uh stability and all. So let's be the Indians, boys. We're going to adopt it. There we go. We got a nice suit, a nice jacket. Let's do this. All right, there we go. So the next one we're going to be entering the contemporary era, which we are well above everybody else. And uh, uh, yeah, in terms of that, so well above them. And we still are working, so we need to work on the city. It needs to start focusing on something. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is the theater, of course. The theater doesn't... No, do, we don't have anywhere to put it. We're just going to put it right here. Quickly build it. There we go. So, we got the theater. We do need a garrison, obviously. So, the garrison, we're going to put it uh, right over here. They're right over here for the garrison. Uh, there we go. That's confirmed. So, we got a garrison now. And we're going to tell... Um, our armies to uh, spawn here if we ever build stuff here. Uh, next up as well, uh, balance policy. Yes, we're gonna do, do balance policy, and we're gonna need to build all these things, boys. All right, so mod has been equipped, boys, so we can continue to build all these di nice districts. We've got everything done, and this we just need an industry thing, right? We need to uh, to get some industry. Let me see if that works out. If I quickly build an industry uh, thingy right here. If I'm going to be able to, yeah, build that then. There we go, the high furnace. So now it's completed, boys. We've got every single district built. We can focus on the Statue of Liberty. Why not? It's going to take one turn. It would have taken one turn anyways, right? So yeah, we don't actually need to focus on that then. Uh, you, I guess what we can build. What could we build, really? Science? Science would be a way to go. Is there any uh, place where uh, we need to actually... Well, over here, I guess. There we go. Over here. We're just going to get the a science uh, quarter, a research quarter, and that uh, should do it. So uh, we're done here. That's pretty much it. We're literally done for this turn. So we can keep it moving. We're about to enter our brand new era in the next, uh, next turn. Over here, we uh, really can't do anything with this. It's literally falling apart. So yeah. I can't destroy the city either. I want to destroy it, but I can't. Crystal human invention to its most violent end. We pray or hope, looking forward to a future which, with luck, will be counted in millennia, not in months. Great philosophers, great mathematicians, great food. Sadly, the elephants are no longer armed. Well, the elephants are no longer armed, but we do have planes now, tanks, all that good stuff. We're really moving on to uh, the new world. I think there's a next world, probably a next era after this. Or maybe not. Oh, this was the, the last era. This is the last era, really? And we got the Statue of the Liberty done from that as well. Uh, osmosis event. All right, it seems like we're moving quite fast right now. Uh, we are the next, uh, we're in a new era. 
The game's gonna end in 63 turns, it says. 63 turns is a lot, though. Yeah, that's a lot. Well, I gained... Uh, I won the game, basically. I basically won. Uh, we can keep moving, I guess, a little bit for this uh, video. But I basically won right here. So the game is pretty much over. I won it. Uh, and Torino, I guess we uh, we need to march on with this unit right here. We're gonna... We're gonna obviously get some districts here and there uh, done for this. So let's get ourselves a district over here first. We're gonna we're gonna march here. There we go. The, via the roads, road system. Uh, Torino, you need to work on something, right? Yes. Uh, we do have this brand new thing, the uh, the ashram, which needs to be built everywhere. So let me build that really quick. That's a quick instant build. Uh, we also have brand new. Um, Brand new units. No, we still have the great swordsmen and everything. So we need to uncover the other research, the planes and all, which we haven't done that. Uh, so now I guess the next part we got enough science. Money would be a thing that we would need right now and over here. So let's work on money. There we go. Let's get a market over here. And uh, what about Rome? So Rome, uh, if we can see really quick, uh, we are going to build that. So they want. They want us to build one over here, the ashram. Let's build one right there. Perfect, that is done. We can build another one as well. It's per districts, I believe, that you can build those things. Yes, every every city or district, you can build one. So you can build one right here as well. Do that. All right, here we go. So that is completed. Uh, next up, what do you want to go for? Food uh, is the seems to be the one that needs we need the most of. So let's get some food. Anywhere in particular? Yes, right there seems like a good place. All right, perfect, boys. And if we get uh, out of this situation a little bit, uh, first off, we've got the Statue of Liberty right here. Look at that. The beautiful statue, just like that. We got it. We can actually start working on another wonder. So let me let me see really quick. Another unclaimed wonder, boys. I could possibly get Empire State Building. I could get it. The Sydney Opera House. Eiffel Tower would be nice. St. Basil, the Taj Mahal. Notre Dame is still available. The pyramids, we can get those. I mean, we are India, so the Taj Mahal would make sense. It's a uh, plus 20 stability and everything. Let's get the Taj Mahal, boys. It, it, it would make sense. So let's claim it. We're going to claim this wonder right here. There we go. And now we can build it. Where do I want to build it? You might say. Let's build it in the poly, boys. Give a reason for everybody to go there, right? So let's uh, let's build it. First off, we're gonna uh, get re uh, really quick our ashram on every single tile. Actually, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Uh, get an ashram and every single tile. So let's get another one right here, and uh, get another one right uh, there. Oh, we can get multiple ones, really. Where do they want us to put it? Okay, right there. Okay. We're gonna get it uh, done right here, boys. Right there. Nice little Taj Mahal. We're gonna get it done right there. And every single city, once again, is gonna start working on it. Uh, and uh, we've got over here Kerma. Let me uh, just see really quick. So Kerma. Uh, we've got the Taj Mahal. We need you to work on the first off, actually. You do need to, uh, to get yourself the ashrams uh, and whatnot. And uh, they want us to put, uh, let me put another one right here. And uh, we've got plenty of space. Let's put another one. Oh, that would not work. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me actually, we need to equip the money mod again. All right, so it's done again, boys. Let me just get an ashram right here. How many ashrams can I get right here? They really want me to get, all, uh, get into that place, but it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. All right, there we go. So I got all uh, every single one of these uh, ashrams. We're going to work on the uh, Taj Mahal as well, which now is going to take about 14 turns to be completed instead of 30. Uh, instead of 30. Uh, this unit right here, I guess we can move it uh, towards... Uh, we can start moving it back now towards the uh, enemy tiles. We're going to use it to bombard if we can see the uh, enemy cities. Uh, let's build a bunch of ashrams. So let's build one right here. Boom. Let's build uh, another one, I guess. I can't build any of these two tiles, so let's just get one right here. Boom, all right, that is done. So now you can uh, work on that. And Taj Mahal is going to take 11 turns now with every single city working on it. Nepada, get all the ashrams done. 
like always so we're really working on that and we're gonna start working on Taj Mahal as well over here boys so how many turns now eight turns everybody uh, is working on it except for these two uh, these three cities right here so we're gonna need to look at that uh, let me just do that uh, let me do that bonus right here also Toledo so what is Toledo all about right here? Uh, Toledo ne need to focus, uh, start building a bunch of uh, of resources like these. So uh, do the same thing right here. Everybody gets uh, an ashram today, boys. Everywhere across the world. It's a brand new uh, popular, thing, popular thing, I guess. There we go. So we're going to continue to build some. And we need uh, one over here, I guess, in this, uh, this land. We need another one, I guess. Oh, all the way over there. All right, good. Fine by me. Let's build one. And then the Taj Mahal, just for good measure. There we go. And uh, that puts us at seven turns for construction, boys. You uh, are going to keep moving. Rome, you need to start. You need to focus on the Taj Mahal as well, which now takes six turns. And uh, Toledo, same thing for you. Actually, you're going to need to uh, focus on the Taj Mahal, which still the six turns, but that's fine. So everybody's being uh, is going to work on it. And uh, I think that's uh, good for us. So you are gonna, you're gonna start moving. Yeah, you're gonna start moving. So that uh, unit right here, my, uh, I guess my sabotage is gonna move towards this city. And um, I guess this one right here is gonna continue to move. And we might even go towards there and actually uh, ransack this place if we can. That is, it's really all over, really. So the game's pretty much over. Uh, I'm not like I can wait and uh, and it's basically just telling me eh, eh, like to gain as much fame as possible to, uh, until the end of the game. But the end of the game is like 62 turns. So another another 62 turns is going to take a long time. I feel like I finished the game really. The game's over so I don't have anything else to do boys. I mean we can keep moving. We can keep doing going to war against these guys. But we've pretty much done everything. Uh, there was to be done. In this series. So uh, I am not sure. I guess I'm going to end this series. It was a really fun uh, let's play. I had a lot more fun this time around. Because I was able to. Actually dominate with the mods and everything. But uh, yeah, it's a really fun game. It's a really fun game. If you guys want to play this game, it's a lot, of, a little bit laggy though. But uh, if you guys, uh, you guys have a, a good enough PC, you should be able to handle this much better than me. I'm gonna leave it for right now. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.